Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Armored Evolution. This game key was provided by Indie Boost and if you'd like to check out the game there is a link in the description. This is a top-down twin stick shooter where uh, well you basically play as a big mech and you blow up other mechs and it's actually very satisfying. There is multiplayer I believe you can also play co-op as well and we are going to be playing the single player for the moment. There is a campaign, which we're going to be playing right now, as well as an endless mode. And if you're feeling up to it, there's also hardcore mode, which basically means if you die, your entire profile gets deleted. That is a bit too hardcore for my liking. But anyway, as you can see right here, we do have, well, I played a little bit just before starting the video. And you can see here, you can actually change your loadout of your of your mech slash tank and you can actually unlock a whole bunch more obviously at the moment I, I do not have anything else you can see here you can get uh, Tempest, Valor, Deviant as well as Raptor and these all cost 7,500 but you can see that from one level that I've already done I already have 1,275 credits so it's going to be pretty easy to do that you can also buy a variety of different weapons as well this reminds me very much of like future cop lapd i don't know whether you know that game but it's from a very very long time ago where you were able to customize your mech with a variety of different guns and weapons and uh, this is kind of similar to that although it does tend to have much more punch and that's what we're going to be doing here so yeah we're going to be playing level two and we're going to see how we do. Let's do this. So we get dropped in to uh, a, a random level here. And we're just going to try and do as much damage as we can. And not get hit. I didn't get hit on the previous uh, previous effort that I had here. Ooh, these, okay, these guys are a little bit more difficult than the ones beforehand. I actually was able to kill them in one hit most of the time with my special ability. But this time around, it's going to be a little bit different. Let's use my, uh, can I use my special here? Or maybe not. There we go. Take out that one. And thankfully these guys are basically stationary, so we don't really have to do too much about that. There we go. We have four abilities for the most part. A regular attack that you can use with left click, and then another one that is on a slightly longer cooldown with right click. And then you can also use space and shift to use a variety of other abilities, one, mostly, mostly utility abilities apart from space, which is that. I actually don't even know what that does just yet because I have been so incredibly bad with aiming it that I haven't really been able to do anything uh, with it just yet, but hopefully we will be able to. Uh, okay, we've got some sniper turrets here, so this is gonna be a bit of a problem. Oh, they're, they're actually easy, Never mind. They're actually much easier than I anticipated. Ah, there we go, we can pick up some health. And what is this? Fury has been activated. Okay, so I assume that means we're gonna be doing massive amounts of damage, maybe. Oh yeah, it's a lot of damage right there. Okay, let's use that, try and kill that one. And uh, I gotta say that I really like the addition of the narrator, the, the voiceover guy saying, you know, double kill, triple kill, and so on and so forth. I think that really adds a huge amount of satisfaction to the game, as well as obviously the impact that you see every single time you hit someone, or whatever the case may be. All right, so there you go. Oh, we actually, oh, okay, we can open a chest. Let's have a look and see what we're gonna get from it. We're gonna get a basic tech core. Yeah, that's just the standard stuff that I actually have. I can actually sell that if I want to. Maybe I will. And then we also gained, look at that, 1,100 credits. That's really nice. So now we have 3,000 credits. We're only another 3,500 away from being able to unlock another mech. So that's gonna be pretty cool. And there are a variety of different levels as well. As you can see right here, there are... Wow, there's actually a lot. That is a lot of levels in, in, a, in a campaign right there. So there's eight on every single level. And there are how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven. Wow, that's a lot of levels. And then, of course, you do have the, the replayability of multiplayer as well. So that's pretty cool. I'm actually going to go to the store here real quick. And I want to see if I can maybe buy something else. Uh, what do I currently have equipped right now? Do I have... I have sniper equipped on my right click. Ah, oh, okay, okay. So if I see that, there's sniper. Okay, so I already have that, which does... Hell's a quick, powerful shot that deals heavy damage. 18 damage, reload of 5 seconds. And then we have a bunch of other things. Shoots a nova of projectiles around your avatar. Fires a missile that deals damage to a large area on impact. That reload is on 8 seconds. That's pretty harsh. 
and a rubberized projectile that can bounce off surfaces and pierce through foes. That's pretty good too. That's 18 damage. It's the same as Sniper. Oh, okay. And we're currently using Laser at the moment. That does 3 damage, reload of 2. Mm, slow moving but powerful projectiles. Railgun sounds pretty fun to me because that actually has 6 damage and the reload is 1.5, but it is one shot you know, per 1.5 seconds, so it's going to take a little bit longer to reload and everything like that. We do actually own the minigun, so it might make sense for us to just try that out. There we go. Let's try out that. That's a little bit of a difference. And we have two of these. I actually don't even know what the difference is. It doesn't seem like there's that much difference. You can also upgrade all of these parts individually, so if you want to, you can do that. Juggernaut, what does this do? Deals massive damage to an enemy while phasing through objects and destroying bullets in its path. Wow. Okay, that's that's pretty powerful. That's your ultimate ability, basically. So, let's move on. Alright, so I'm using a new weapon this time around. We're actually using a laser instead of the minigun. Ooh, I like this. Unfortunately, I am getting murdered as a result, but yes, I like this quite a bit. I like the laser. I feel like the laser is much more my thing in comparison to the minigun. felt like the minigun was maybe a little bit too... Mm, well, a little bit too much reliant on projectile speed, and uh, I'm not a big fan of that, so it's really nice that you're able to change your playstyle so significantly. I like that quite a bit. Alright, so let's see if I can do a good enough job here and try and survive. The reload on this is really good. Okay, come on. Yep, there we go. And maybe we can get... Oh no, I missed. Can you believe that? Uh, yeah, I guess you can. Yes, you can. Alright. So far, so good, though. So far, so good. And you got to say that the price point for this game as well is extremely, extremely lucrative. I mean, it's literally about, I think it's like $8 or something like that. It's 30% off right now in the uh, the Lunar New Year sale or something. So that is pretty amazing in itself for a game like this with so much content. I mean, you, you saw exactly how many how many levels there are. It's pretty, pretty amazing. All right, so 755 credits, and we also get another chest here, of course. And we're going to be getting some more. 1700. We also get teleport. Okay, I think I might actually want to use that instead of the turbo. Because, there you go. Teleports you in the direction you're facing. Okay, we're going to be using that instead. And, oh, this is a boss fight. Okay, this is going to be a bit, a bit harsh for me. Oh, this is actually not even going that badly. Thankfully, most of the enemies will end up using projectile weapons, so you don't really have to worry too much about hit-scan weapons or anything like that. There we go. I actually took no damage. I literally took no damage from that, so that's, well, kind of nice. Alright, so let's take a look at our rewards. Oh, that is, oh, that's really nice. Basic Ultimate Core EMP Nova. That sounds like something I definitely want to use. 2,300 credits for that as well. We now have 8,950. It might make sense for us to go and buy a new avatar. Let's see exactly what these things do. So, as you can see right here, the Raptor that we have right now is just a standard, well-rounded avatar. It doesn't really do anything special. It's just a standard, standard cool thing. Now, the Tempest tends to have, aha, I see. So the Tempest has different slot arrangements, and it has, as you can see here, it swaps a hull slot for double artillery slots. That's pretty cool. And then you can also swap tech slot for double hull slots. Oh, that's pretty amazing. Mm, sacrifice action slot for faster reload speed. Right, okay. Hmm, 30% faster reloads. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about that, to be honest. I think I quite like this. I'd like to get two lasers, if at all possible. So I'm actually going to buy the Tempest. And maybe I can buy another laser. Uh, that's 5,000. Ugh. That's very, very expensive. Oh, well, never mind. Let's change our loadout. Okay, so we have a... Yes. Minigun. Uh, yes, I, I'd love to have two lasers. I want two lasers on each of these barrels right here. Okay, we're, we're going to try and get that. And we'll see if that can work. And I'm going to change this to EMP Nova, which will temporarily disable all enemy vehicles in a large radius around the caster. That sounds pretty good to me. All right. Let's do it. Okay, so we have slightly harder enemies this time around. Because we've just defeated a boss, of course. Yeah, it's going to be much more... Oh, yeah, this is going to be much more difficult because I don't have that sniper attack anymore. But it's going to be much easier for me to have higher DPS. Because we don't have to wait so long in between 
attacks, which is good. Whoa, that's, that's poison? Wow, okay, that is not very nice of you. Thank you very much. Can you just stay away from me? That's great. Okay, now let's see if I can go over here. We're moving a little bit. Are we moving a bit slower than the previous one? I don't think so. I'm going to use teleport. Okay, so teleport is very, very short range as well, but it's enough to be able to dodge out of the way of something. Double kill. Going to use my special ability. That's going to prevent them from moving around and, and hopefully attacking me. Yeah, it seems like it prevents them from attacking as well. So that's really nice. And i got to be careful here. This is only wave three of five. That's really bad. I think I might have some problems here. Yeah, I need to do a little bit more dodging in my opinion. Okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do something here. Okay, we have another turret around here. Have to be careful. I'm being shot by snipers as well at the same time, so that's great. Okay, there's some healing. I'm gonna try and get that if I can. Yeah, there we go. It's only 10%. It's only 10%. It's not gonna give you a huge amount of healing or anything, but that's fine. That should be enough for what I need it for. What is that there? What is that? Give me that. Ah, okay. That's, that just gives me less cooldown on my ultimate, I believe. And I think I should be just about done. There we go. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have two sniper turrets and a nova turret as well as a sludge turret. So I'm going to have to be very careful about dodges here. Ooh, okay. That was a bit too much. A bit too much. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm actually going to change my avatar back to Raptor for the moment because I need that extra little bit of range from the sniper ability. So that's what we're going to do here. There we go. Let's go straight back in. And this sniper round is just way too good to give up. So I think I'm going to probably try and save up for another avatar and then we'll go from there because do you see that? Look at that. That turret just literally died in one hit. That's how powerful the sniper round actually is. Look at that, just crazy. And then if I get close, I can just use my laser. So it's really, really important to have that sniper round in my opinion, unless you're going for something a little bit different. Uh, do you want to be a bit careful of that? Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. Let's try and, there we go, nice. And we still, uh, look at this. We have so much HP right now. I'm going to try and see if I can just Double snipe kill. one. There we go. All right. Apologies for that small cut. That was a ring at the doorbell. Anyway, uh, we're going to be attempting to do some damage here and try not to take too much as a result of, well, them attacking to bomb uh, attacking and bombarding us and all kinds of things. Okay, there we go. Now I can take this. And technically, I could use it on this one enemy, but I don't think it's worth it. So we can technically just run around over here, try and get some health. Ooh, what's that? Give me that. Ooh, turbo activated. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and use my EMP, I think. There we go. It's gonna stop those guys from attacking me at the very least. And maybe we can eliminate that. There we go. And uh, I did get hit by that sniper round. That was not very good. Okay, that, that's this is wave four or five, so we do have to be a bit careful. And they are doing so much damage to me right now with their sniper rounds, so I do have to be a little bit better at dodging them. There we go. All right, this is going to be bad. Okay, so I should probably try and just be a little bit more cautious by just hiding around here. I'm not hiding. I'm strategically placing myself behind cover. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Oh, that actually hit me. Okay, that's great. That was AoE. All right, okay. Have I killed that yet? No, it seems like I haven't killed that yet. Okay, almost, almost dead. I'm almost dead as well. That Okay, that's dead now. And now all I need to do is deal with this thing. There we go. Oh, these are easy to kill. Oh, they're only one hit. Are you serious? Okay, this is really bad. There we go. Phew. Okay. That was really close. That was really, really close. Okay. So 690 bonus credits received and we can now open up our chest. Oh, there we go. We got another laser. That's pretty fantastic. Okay. So that means 
that I am actually going to be switching my avatar now to our Tempest here. And I can actually upgrade this as well if I want to. So technically I could upgrade its damage or max health or speed or anything like that. For the moment, probably not going to do that just yet. I think I'm going to just try out how the double lasers actually works with it. And then we'll see. Maybe I won't do it. It really depends. I might want to increase my speed, to be honest. My speed is probably a pretty good idea to upgrade. You've got to be much closer here. And as a result, we're going to be taking much more damage. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't think the double laser is really helping us all that much, to be honest. I mean, I can do a lot of damage, but it's I think it's just not enough. It's just not enough for what I'm what I'm needing to do here. It's just taking I'm taking way too much damage close up and that is making everything much much more difficult. Okay, I'm going to try and use my ultimate here. There we go. All right. So now I am basically dead. Yes, unless I am some kind of uh, amazing dodging whiz. Nah, that's not going to happen there. Not at all. That is not going to happen. All right, so we're going to have to do something a little different here then. So we're going to have to go Raptor again. And just go with that, I suppose. Now, bear in mind that there are three difficulties as well. I'm playing on the normal difficulty, technically, where everything has, you know, 100% damage. And if you play on the slightly easier difficulty, I believe they're all at 75%. Their health and, and damage is all at 75%. And then the... One above from that is, well, very, very tricky indeed. Let's see if I can do some more damage here. Okay, I'm going to try and use my EMP a little bit more as we go forward as well. Took quite a lot of damage considering I still have this ranged attack, so that is not good. Okay, let's see if I can... Oh, that was a really close miss right there. Okay, I'm going to have to try and see if I can maybe focus down those sludge turrets, I think. If I can. Double kill. There's turbo. I would like to get that so I can rush over and get the health and the credits and all that stuff. And there's another turbo. Give me that. Gonna just disable all of these guys. Double kill. Wow, that, now that was tricky. That, wow, that is very, very tricky. It seems like what I will have to do is level up my avatar a little bit and uh, then go from there. But I think that has given you a pretty decent idea of what the game is all about. And if you'd like to check it out yet any further, then there is a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.